In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Mixamo animations on Virat Studio models. Mixamo is a very cool website where you can download free humanoid animations to use in your Unity project. Very useful for game dev and VTubers. As usual, this tutorial would be very beginner friendly and I will assume you have no experience with Unity whatsoever. But I will skip on how to import your Firoid model to Unity. Check out this video if you want to learn how to do it. Let's get started. The first step is to go to the Mixamo website and log in with your account. Then we can search and click on whatever animation we want to download. Before we download the animation, we might want to adjust the chosen animation slightly by playing around with the slider settings. Different animations have different settings. Some make the animation become a lot more exaggerated while others just make it move faster. Play around with it to suit your needs. Once we get the animation we want, go ahead and click download. On this new window, change the format to FBX for Unity and then click download. This will download an FBX model containing the animation. To import it into Unity, we need to bring this model to the project window. The project window is where all of your game files are stored in Unity, like 3D models, images, scripts, and everything else. To import our new FBX model, we can drag this model from the Windows Explorer into the Assets folder in the project window. Next, we need to adjust the import settings for this FBX model to make the animations run better in Unity. Left-click on it to open this model in the Inspector window. The Inspector window is where we can make any changes to the current highlighted file in Unity. One thing we can do in the Inspector window is to preview the animation inside the FBX model by just dragging up this preview window from the bottom. The first setting we need to change is to set the animation compression to off. Then, if the animation is supposed to repeat itself, we can enable loop time and click apply. And finally, go to the rake tab and change the animation type from generic to humanoid. Otherwise, our animation will not work with Feroid models. And then click apply. Now, to play the animation on our Feroid model, we need to use the animator component. In Unity, all game objects are controlled by these components attached to that game object. In this case, the animator component controls the movement of every joint in your Feroid model according to the animations. But we need to specify which animations it's going to play by using the animator controller file. So let's create a new animator controller file and name it whatever you want. Then make sure to click to highlight your Feroid model in the hierarchy window so that the inspector window is currently viewing this model. Then drag and drop this new animator controller file into the animator component. Now we need to change the content of that animator controller file by going into the animator window. This is a very flexible tool for managing animations in Unity. For example, you can use this to handle different kinds of walking and running animations depending on the character's movement speed and direction. But for this tutorial, we're going to simply display a single animation. In the project window, let's click the little triangle next to the FBX file to preview its content. Here we can see every little file that made up this FBX model, but for now, we just need its animation which is marked in Unity by this triangle icon. We can just drag this animation to the animator window. Now we can click on the play icon on top of Unity to go to play mode, but we can see that it's playing the animation, but not in the correct way. The feed appears very floaty. Let's fix that by pressing the play mode button again to stop it, go into the animator component again, and turn on the root motion setting. This will ensure that the character's feet will always remain level with the ground. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe for more tutorial content on Unity and Feroid Studio. If you want to continue watching, I recommend my tutorial on how to add more expressions to your Feroid model with just a few clicks. It's a very fun video that I worked so hard on.
And with that, I think I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.